welcome to a new video everybody. Today we're going to be testing out a new product that was sent to me by OneCarStereo.com. I got my hands on this full Android system that's going to be able to upgrade our current infotainment system in the car to a full Android OS system. Uh, now before you start thinking, oh he said Android, my iPhone's not going to work with it. This thing works with both Android and iPhones. So let's go ahead and pop it open, see what comes in this little box, and get it connected to the car, see what all it can do. Alrighty, so we've got the Android box itself. It's a pretty slim, sleek design. Here on the back of the device, you've got the power port. It's a USB-C port. On the left there, you've got a slot for a SIM card, and on the right, a slot for a up to 128 gig micro SD card. And then back around here on the front of the device, there are a few little LEDs that will light up when you've got it powered on and connected to let you know that you've made connection and everything. Then we've got two USB cables in here. We've got USB-C to USB-C if your car uses that, or like what I'll be using, a USB to USB-C. And uh, installation for this thing is pretty simple. We're just gonna connect it to the USB port in the car, and it's going to take over our infotainment system, load everything up and show us all the apps and features that we'll have. So let's go ahead and get it hooked up to the car and see what it can do. And again, installation is as simple as plugging that USB cable into the USB port in your car. The box is going to start up and ask to calibrate to the screen in your car. It can output at a 4K image. I'm not sure if my screen can or not, but it's going to up to the highest resolution that your screen can handle. And then once it restarts, it's going to show you all the apps that are already in your library. And of course, if you need more, it's got the the Google Play Store and the Android APK installer but it's already got quite a bunch of stuff so let's go ahead and jump into something now you will need a wireless hotspot connection Wi-Fi connection I'm at home right now so I'm just bumming off of my Wi-Fi signal you can also stick a sim card in there though that's got you know cellular data so that you can use it on the run um, the screen is pretty responsive uh, I was worried that the latency on it might be a little bit much and it would seem like it was laggy, but it seems to be okay for now. And I mean, the audio doesn't seem to be delayed at all either. It's pushing out a nice crisp sound. We'll go ahead and let this video load. It'll probably take a second since we're doing it off the Wi-Fi in the garage. Of course, ads and everything. Gotta love those ad rolls. Skip our ad, and let's see how this sounds. We'll be installing some of these air snorkels behind the grill of the Stinger. So let's go ahead and test these things out first, and then we'll go ahead and remove the bumper and close install, and then we'll put everything back. Full screen. So we'll test these things out. We're going to go ahead and connect them with the power cables that came. And anytime we want to get out of an app and go back to home, we can just tap on the screen and tap on this little white dot, hit the home icon, and it will take us back to our library of apps. We've also got back. Uh, we can see all the apps that we currently have open if we need to close close anything if it's making the system laggy uh, it's even got dictation so that you can use voice commands this one right here is pretty cool you can actually split screen in between two apps and then change the size of whatever you want to see with this little slider here go back up there and take that off and then uh, one of the main things that I liked about this was that with this auto kit app right here, you can use wireless Android Auto or wireless Apple CarPlay. Now your car has to be set up to use a wired connection with both of those, but this box will make it so that you can use your system wirelessly now. Once you've got your phone set up for CarPlay or Android Auto, just go ahead and hit that Auto Kit app and it's going to show you what it would look like if you had your phone hardwired to the car. And then we can go in here and use all of the apps like we normally would. And again, screen latency isn't really an issue. Let's go ahead and get us some revolving sushi. Everything works like it normally does and it's pretty quick. And if you need to get back to the Android box, you can just hit this car right here swap back to all those apps 
or if you need to be back in your phone, auto kit, and it's right there. I've got to say, this is a pretty nifty little box, and I think it's going to change the way that I do things in the car from now on. These boxes work with all kinds of cars too. It's not just the Kia Stinger. And if you have multiple cars in your family, you can move it in between them. It doesn't have to stay paired to just one. Thank you so much to OneCarStereo.com for sending us this box to review for you guys. And thank you guys so much for stopping by and checking out the video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I'll be leaving a link in the description below to their website so you can check it out. They've got some pretty cool other products on there too. Again, thanks so much for stopping by and checking out the video, and I hope to see you in my next one.